What if I told you you can make very, very good money through your city or nearby cities by starting a newsletter? Local newsletters are one of the biggest opportunities right now, and in this video, I'm going to dive into the blueprint I'm personally using to grow a local newsletter and make money. Let's dive into it. Before we get started, sign up to my newsletter creator hustles and receive seven legitimate AI side hustles you could use to make money today. These are real side hustles that can be done with little money and are easy to get going. My newsletter will be in the description and pinned in the comments. All right, so step one, uh, you want to evaluate your city or nearby cities to see if it's a suitable location. Uh, I think if you have at least 20 to 25,000 people in your city, it's doable. You want to look at the number of small businesses, restaurants, and service providers in your city. You also want to pay attention to how many events go on in your city on a regular basis because the more events, the more you'll be able to promote. All right, so step number two is initial growth. And the first method I recommend is to see if you could find subreddits about your city. Um, if you can, uh, message the moderators, tell them about your newsletter, and ask if you can mention it here and there. Um, chances are they will say yes, as they did for me. And as you can see above, um, I got 277 subscribers from this method alone. And uh, the second part of the initial growth phase is using Facebook groups or Facebook pages about your city and mentioning it. Um, you would have to do the same thing, reach out to the people in charge of the group and ask them if they can mention, if you can mention your newsletter. All right, so let's dive into step number three, which is referral growth. And the strategy is simple. You wanna reach out to about 20 popular local spots and propose a win-win deal. Um, you'll promote their business in your newsletter, and in return, they offer a small discount like 10 to 20% to subscribers who refer your newsletter to at least one friend. Once you've got your restaurant list, uh, use tools like you can use tools like Beehive or Sparkloop to automate the process. When a subscriber refers someone, they'll automatically receive the discount code. Um, it's easier for, for your subscribers because it's such a low barrier to entry and uh, restaurants also get free exposure. And lastly, um, when you make these connections with restaurants down the road when your newsletter size is very big, you'll be able to do sponsored deals with them as well. All right, so step number four is content. And this could be a blog, TikTok account, uh, Instagram account. And the content you can create are food reviews and different things around your city. Um, and each piece of content could have a CTA to your newsletter, which is also known as a call to action. Um, so just letting people know. Uh, but not only that, uh, each content platform could be a way to monetize as well. For example, um, you get to the point where you have 1,000 subscribers on your newsletter, and then all of a sudden you make a review about one of the most, um, one of the newest places in your city. Uh, you can plug that review on your blog in your newsletter and then you can make money from ads. Um, or you could do videos and make money through Google AdSense on YouTube. Um, so they basically kind of feed each other in a way. All right, so next up is Facebook ads. And Facebook ads make it very easy to target your city. Um, the idea with this is to put together five or six different ads and then see which one sticks the best. And then you want to run that ad into into the ground, basically, until it no longer works. And I think with this method in combination with the other free methods that I mentioned, you should be at 10 to 15,000 subscribers in no time. All right. So the last thing I want to go over is your monetization methods. And the first one is the most obvious, which is selling ads and sponsors. Uh, you can partner with local businesses to sell ad space or get a sponsor for your newsletter. Um, the difference is ads could be anywhere and a sponsor is really like in an, ex in an exclusive spot, like the top of the newsletter. 
And then the second method is selling products and merch. You can create and sell branded merchandise, local guides, or ebooks to your audience. You could also offer exclusive products from local businesses as well. And lastly is blog or YouTube content. Uh, once you build up a good subscriber base, you can monetize on YouTube or a blog from ads by getting traffic. This could be a combination of traffic from platforms like Google or traffic you send from your newsletter. All right, so I hope you found this local newsletter blueprint helpful. Uh, this is the blueprint I'm going to follow for my own local newsletter. And if you did find it helpful, please like this video, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.